Hey, good morning. I just wanted to share this with someone who might be going through this similar struggle. Um, yesterday I shared on a ministry video actually about how the Lord had delivered me from negative thinking. I had really bad patterns of really negative thinking. And of course the enemy loves that for us. And he comes in and he starts to play on that and he adds to the negative thinking and he um, influences us in that way and just plays on our weakness. That's what he likes to do and makes it worse. And we can get in really ugly cycles of um, defeat, depression, anxiety, suicidality, all of those things. So the Lord delivered me from that. But what I want to share is, so I shared on the ministry video how the Lord delivered me from that. And um, this morning I woke up and I'm laying in bed. And as soon as I woke up, my very first thought was, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> and my very second thought that came it just came whew, flying in like this was, I want to give up. And because the Lord has delivered me from negative thinking, I recognized it right away and I went into action mode to defeat that thought. Okay, so as soon as I heard that, first of all, I was shocked. I was like, whoa, where did that come from? I want to give up. Like, you know, that's my old fleshly man because actually... <laughs> You know, my desire is not to give up, but my old fleshly man was trying to rise up. And um, and also, it could have even been a little part of the enemy trying to influence me, uh, seeing if I would take that bait, right? Because um, in the olden days, if he would plant a negative thought like that, I would clamp onto that bait. Or even if my old fleshly man thought something like that, that would start a whole downward spiral avalanche of negative thoughts where it would start with I want to give up you know and then go into all the reasons why I should give up and then think about all the things in life that are hard and etc cetera, etc cetera. but I know that that would lead to um you know a day full or a season full or whatever of anxiety and depression and despair and anger and even lashing out at other people because then I feel crappy whatever so um, as soon as I recognized it what I want to share is the difference so that's what the old person would do but since we've been delivered it doesn't mean that those things won't try and resurrect again again whether it's our old flesh man patterns trying to resurrect or the enemy trying to put bait to see if he can resurrect it okay so wherever it originated from I recognized it right away and I jumped out of bed and I rebuked the thought and I immediately just started singing praise and worship and counteracted that okay so I didn't go into I didn't take the bait and so I just want to encourage you guys um I mean the enemy's really been coming at me um and it's like he's trying to pull out all the stops all the things that he used to be able to bait me with um it's like all those things are coming at me um, a lot and so I have been in warfare but the Lord is faithful and so I just want to remind you guys if those things are coming at you don't go into a place where you think like oh I guess I guess I didn't overcome that like no you did overcome it but our old man can try and resurrect um, especially when we're in vulnerable places vulnerable places if you've gone through any things of recovery programs they talk about um there's a thing halt hungry angry lonely tired and that's an acronym when you're hungry angry lonely tired um you're more susceptible to those patterns that you're trying to break away from so you need to be conscious and aware of that and my husband and i actually added a few to it and i was trying to remember them just now and i can't remember them right now but you get the point when you're in, you know, in a vulnerable place. If you had a stressful day, if you um, had a loss in your life, um, if you um, had something go wrong that you were trying to work on, whatever. There's all kinds of things. They make us more susceptible um, to giving into um, wrong patterns, giving into behaviors that um, that are not good for us, um, addictions, um, but also going back into the patterns that we have overcome in the past, like um, we're more susceptible and those old habits and things will try to resurrect. So know that, that that happens. And so all you do is you call on the Lord, you rebuke those thoughts, you don't entertain them, you don't give in to them, you don't take the bait. You play worship music, you sing worship music, you read the word, you proclaim the word, um, you praise God, you find um, an encouraging ministry video, 
um, you listen, you, you, you play your in instrument, you know, whatever, all of those things you go into to battle, those things that are trying to rise again and don't take the bait. So I just wanted to encourage you um, to not feel defeated when those things come back come knocking and also the enemy too he waits for the opportune time when he sees that you're weak or he sees that you're tired or he sees that you have pain in your body or whatever and he comes and he tries to dangle that bait because he knows what your weaknesses have been so he knows exactly where to come in and try and bait you and get you back into those places that you have fought so hard with the Lord to overcome so um, <clears throat> don't give up keep fighting the good fight of faith keep filling your lamp with oil filling yourself with the power of God through his word um, getting refills from him all day long, asking him for every help that you need, and he will help you overcome. The battle is already won. We are just walking it out. So be blessed in Jesus' name.